everyone, it's Tara here at the Half Acre Homestead. Like and share this video for a chance to win a $10 dollar, dollar Tree gift card. That's a tongue twister, try saying that one 10 times fast. But just to give you an idea of what $10 can get you at the Dollar Tree right now, look at this. This is 40 packets of seeds. They're from America Seed Company which is part of the plantation products. They're the same company that owns Ferry Morris, which is a company that I like to advertise quite frequently. Uh, they're a local company here in Massachusetts, and I think local is best. Support local business, support local farmers. That's a big thumbs up from me. So right now, I talked about this last week, Dollar Tree has the American seed, seed packs, four for a dollar. So, with a $10 Dollar Tree gift card, you can get 40 packs of them. And the varieties are all there. So, let's put these off to the side and talk a little bit about what we're doing tonight. So we're having a little bit of a technical snafu right now. He's trying to get the computer set up and he has the phone so that I can do this, which means that anybody that's coming in, I can't see you right now. I don't know who, where you are, but um, just keep watching and I'll keep talking and hopefully at some point we'll get that set up so that I can communicate back and forth to you. If you do have questions, he can see them on that side of the phone. He'll send them over to me and... Uh, Let's get going. So, I had talked a little bit about the supplies that we were going to need to build a grow cabinet. Now, what is a grow cabinet? Um, we talked a, very briefly about it. It's a great way to start seeds. I actually got it from another local gardener here in Massachusetts. Um, but essentially, a grow cabinet, what I've found looking for schematics online is that it's used by a less traditional gardener that doesn't grow maybe fruits and vegetables. They grow something along the smoking variety. And given that I will link into where I got the plans for this particular grow ca cabinet tomorrow in our blog, you will see that they came from 420 Magazine, so I'll let you guys put one and one together there to make two. All right, so the first thing we want is to have all your supplies ready. So, you need two heavy-duty large boxes. I got them at Walmart locally for $2.50. 420 Magazine suggests using quarter-inch dowels to help support the corners of your boxes. Believe it or not, my Walmart didn't have dowels. But what I found was these sign stakes instead. And being that corners of a box are square, not round, I figured they would work a little bit better. And they're a little bit heavier and a little bit more sturdy. You're going to want a marker, a pen, pencil, something along those lines to help you draw out your lines that we're going to be making. You're going to want a ruler. Ruler. Box cutter. Duct tape. Because everything in life is better with duct tape. I will stand by that until the end of time. And last but not least. Well, not last. But certainly a key part of this is a emergency blanket, a roll of mylar, um, essentially it's shiny plastic. Tin foil would work as well. Um, once again, my local Walmart didn't have rolls of mylar, maybe yours will. Uh, it is also readily available on Amazon that I found out from that same local gardener that had told me to try something like this to get seeds started. The most important part of this whole process is the grow light. And once again, New England weather is anything 
but stable anything but predictable and when you request two-day shipping on a product so that you can schedule something like this four days later you're still waiting even though it says quite clearly in your email that it should have been here a half an hour ago but let's get started so you have your box is your box is okay so I already pre-measured out this but what I'll do is I'll explain it to you so that we have a general consensus here okay so up here we have the flaps of the boxes you're gonna take your ruler and from the crease of the flap you're gonna measure down four inches okay you're gonna do the same thing from the side, four inches in. So you're gonna have the top flap that is not part of that. This right here, I'm really bad at explaining things. So this box here, this is gonna be our door, okay? So the top flap is not part of the door, but then the bottom flap you're going to go right over the bottom flap with those lines, okay? So the bottom flap is going to become part of our door. Just pause it for a minute. Then. Three pills. Are we back? You have your box and you have your door cut out of this one. Well, drawn onto that one for us to cut out. You're gonna do the same exact thing on your second box. The flap, four inches down, four inches in, all the way down to the bottom, okay? Now, with a box cutter, well, uh, you're going to cut along your lines. Now, if you don't have a steady hand, they suggest that you use your ruler to help guide you. And they also suggest on 420 Magazine that you don't try to cut straight through the first time. The reason being is that if you go through, you're not going to have a good seal. And the whole part, the whole point of having your seeds enclosed with the, the mylar on the inside and in the box and with the heat lamp is that you're helping create a good environment for them to germinate in. So we don't want any type of little cracks, okay? So let's get back to this. We're gonna try to go through again and hopefully we can get it this time. Because for a gardener, I'm rather impatient, which is ah, kind of a pun on gardening there. Impatient. Let's see. Anybody here? No, nobody here. Well, if you watch it after the fact, um, like and share. You're the only one. Yay. You know what? Ten dollars is ten dollars, you know? All right. So, just give that a little bit of a push. And if you do happen to pop in, say hi in the comments and, uh, like I said, I like, to, I like to get to know people. I like to get to hear about other people's gardens and hear what you try. So, do tell. Now, usually, projects like this that I do on Facebook Live, I like to have tested them out prior. I like to know that they work recipes. I like to try them ahead of time, know that they work, 
know exactly what I need to do to the pans, to the oven, and have everything laid out very meticulously. So this is kind of like a wild card night for me, just coming right in and doing this without having done it before to show you guys. But, you know, we're gonna be having more giveaways over the next few weeks. And I'm hoping that what this is leading up to is a big giveaway. And I can't talk about it too much right now because it's not for certain and, you know, don't want to count your eggs before they're in the basket. But let me tell you, if things go as I'm hoping that they will go, you guys could have some serious good stuff coming your way. And if not, then well, you're stuck with my crappy giveaways. But hey, free is for me. I'm about it all day long. So it is hard to believe that the reason that we're doing this is because just a short two and a half weeks from today, you can start planting outside. And being that we have a foot of snow here in New England, and it is 32 degrees outside, or probably less right now, uh, when I got home from work it was just at freezing. It seems crazy, but it is true. We are, you know, we're getting down to the wire now, you know. Cold weather sows can definitely start going in soon. Okay, so, woo, end up. All right, so we have our doors cut open from both of our boxes, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand the box up. And this is where it's gonna get fun. And eventually I'm gonna need an extra set of hands so you guys are gonna get to meet Matt, who is my husband. Uh, little fun fact for you: Two years ago today, on Friday the 13th, he asked me to marry him. I say he knew his life was gonna be a horror movie. He says he doesn't believe in bad luck. We're going to take our duct tape and we're going to seal that seam right there. And once again, because we're trying to keep heat in, I'm going to come on the two side seams right here of the box as well. And that's what happens when you buy cheap duct tape. All right, so I'm going to actually worked out more to my advantage. All right, so bring that around like that. And like that, okay. And do the same on the front. And maybe, if we're lucky, before we're done, It will, uh, the light will be here from Amazon, and you guys will get to view that. Now, this is a temporary house to the seeds. Uh, eventually, the seeds will be going into our much larger greenhouse that is outside. It actually has clear sides, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing it in, and we're going to be taking the same emergency blankets, mylar material, and we're gonna be lining it. And we're gonna have two lights in that greenhouse. Um, I don't even have one to show you right now though, so that's kind of a pain. All right, so let's do the same with the other. And 
again, if you're just joining us, remember, like and share for a chance to win a $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree. If you are on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter, too. I'll throw up our Twitter uh, handle at the end of the video for you. Uh, I have to warn you that my uh, personality on Twitter can be a little bit hard to handle. No pun intended. <laughs> um, definitely can be a little bit more outspoken on Twitter than I am on Facebook. All right, so now we have the top and the bottom all set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wriggle them and jiggle them together like a giant puzzle and see if we can get it to work. And this is something I forgot to mention that it's actually important to make sure that you do get the same size boxes. Okay. All right. So it's also important to make sure that when you're measuring four inches, four inches, this is the same on both. Um, I, I don't, I'm good. I got it. I got this. Okay. So now, once again, starting at the top, working our way all the way down to the bottom, we're going to lay a seam of duct tape, okay? It's the great thing about duct tape. You don't, no scissors needed, you know? It is magic tape of rednecks. I love it. I swear by duct tape. Really do. And again, here for my crap ass measuring job. And see, this is why usually. I like to make sure I do these things ahead of time before I try them live for you guys so I can make sure that they're perfect when I get to you. Okay, so we're going to throw a seam right here. Now, uh, 420 Magazine says that you can do this for under $20. Um, I'm going to say that that's probably about right. Like I said, we were looking at uh, about $2.50 for the boxes, $2 or so for the emergency blankets. Uh, like I said, I got the, the cheap duct tape, so it was about $0.97 cents a roll. And my stakes there were... I think about a dollar fifty a piece. So it really is. It's it's not a super expensive project. The most in expensive part of the project is the light itself, and I price those out between uh, what we have around here is Morrison's. It's similar to a Tractor Supply or an Agway. Um, they had grow lights that ranged between about. 20 and $80. Walmart, pretty much the same thing, but that's, once again, it's a seasonal product for them. So, um, you have to hope that your Walmart has them out already. Um, mine doesn't. Um, Lowe's, oh, forget it. I'm usually a, a big advocate of Lowe's. I think that, uh, I like the way that the company runs. I like the fact that Lowe's owns their own plants. Um, as opposed to other big box stores like them that, uh, their plants are essentially leased. Um, so if they die, they can send them back to the company. 
And I like that Lowe's owns theirs because you know that you're getting a plant that's taken care of. They don't want to lose money. So, and they're one of the few big box stores like that um, that will actually clearance plants because they just want to make a profit on them no matter what. So, but yeah, when it comes to grow lights with them, forget it. We're talking, you know, about $120. I believe the one that they had was through um, Miracle Grow. So if you're just joining us, you know, say hi in the comments. I like to see who's here, who's watching. Um, I can see one person I know. Hi, Krista. All right, so if you're just tuning in, what we're doing right now is we're seaming off the boxes. We've taken the two boxes, we've put them together, um, and now we're just kind of filling in the seams so that it can keep the heat in, all right? And we're using my favorite sealant in the world, duct tape. So, and you know, like with anything, any type of project like this, if you see something and you think, you know, you know, damn, like she could have done that this way or, you know, change it. Absolutely change it. There's no one right way to do anything when it comes to gardening and this type of stuff. And I had said that, you know, last week in the blog, you know, it's real easy for garden bloggers to say, do this, do that, um, because this is what works for me. But what works for me may not work for you. I'm zone 6B. You could be zone 5. You could be zone 8. It's everybody's different, you know? So, we are almost done sealing this puppy up. All right. Once we get this sealed up, we're going to take our stakes and we're going to put them in to the corners and when we put them into the corners it's just going to give us a little bit more stabilization uh, so that uh it won't crumble i actually have pretty bad luck when it comes to stuff like that what are you laughing about one of the comments <laughs> i don't have any comments so, you got to tell Krista me. Krista says hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be reading them. Remember? Does anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay. Well, hi, Krista. It's nice. She says hi to me, too. <laughs> Don't say hi to him. <laughs> <coughs> All right. is why we test shit first. Alright, so I'm going to come back with the exacto knife. And I'm going to cut that off because that's going to piss me off if I don't. Um, Krista, I hope you liked and shared. One viewer, one like and share, one winner. It's like the lottery. Can't win if you don't play. I wonder why I'm not getting comments over here. It's kind of a bummer. All right. Uh, duct tape. All right. So, ideally, this is about a one and a half to two hour project. 
It is 8.55. I have to be up at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, we're going to give you, you know, the Cliff Notes version here. Plus, we don't have, you know, the key component. Is it the Amazon? Thank you very much. So, let's kind of get this going now. Okay. She shared. Oh. <laughs> Just talk. It's your show, not mine. It's not a show. <laughs> it's a blog. <laughs> Hi, Panta. <laughs> Right. Well, he'll he always, watch it later. Yeah, he always does. She liked and shared, so she's... All right. So, inside we have our dowel. No, our dowels are not as long as our box. That's okay. Okay. So, we're going to take it. We're going to duct tape that bad boy in. Like at the hairdresser, you're going to re rinse and... Oh, shit, duct tape, man. <laughs> Pissing me off. All right, so in we go with our steak. You're going to put that in the corners, give you a little bit of stability. A little bit of added. Should call the duct tape king in on this. You just lost your privilege to speak. That's why I've been keeping my mouth shut. Alright, down we go. Okay. That's frustrating. See, I told you. Could be fun to watch. So what we're going to do is we'll give you guys 24 hours to get in your likes and shares for this video. Because uh, we did get to it a little bit late tonight. Uh, and then we will pick a lucky winner. And send you away with $10 to the Dollar Tree stores. I love them. They love me. A love love relationship. I'm followed on Twitter by them. All right, in we go. Last one. I got four. Don't really know why. Now that I look at it, because that's where it would go here. It's open. Not thinking. Okay. Line it with our emergency blanket. To spare you the fun of watching me open it, I opened one prior to the video. Okay. Now, The entire inside of the box with this I'll let you guys uh, you know go through that on your own it's like reverse wrapping a present and then you're done you know you clip your light wherever you want um, if you have a clip light uh, the light that I got if it had shown up I could show you that it has a little clip like a book lamp. Um, for me, I'm probably going to be clipping it to one of the top folds of the box. Um, but 
that's all, folks. So there you go. I mean, you've made a grow cabinet. And, you know, I was actually just discussing this prior to the feed, uh, you know, because it's made for a single plant, okay? We're talking about it's something that's made to house a single marijuana plant, typically, okay? Oh, that is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. You fix that. All right. Jody. What? Jody. Hi, Jody. Thanks for joining us. So because we're talking about something that's made typically for one marijuana plant, you would store it this way. And inside, fucking duct tape, man. Um, you would store it vertically, and in the bottom you would have your one five-gallon pail with your one plant in it. Because we're talking about seedlings, uh, you could very easily store it horizontally as well. It's going to do the same thing, all right? So, remember, like, share. Get us out there. Look at this. All that could be yours for $10 at the Dollar Tree. Uh, and the selection is great. There's fruits, there's vegetables, there is anything you can dream of. Uh, before I close this out for the night, does anybody have any questions? Your Twitter page? I, I, I have to post the handle later. I don't have the handle offhand so um no no questions nothing all right as always enjoy every day because you know never fucking duct tape man uh you never know when it's gonna be your last and as my friend always says be good to each other because we're all we have we have so take care as always, from the home. Jody missed it, she said. Miss what? Maybe? She didn't see the whole thing. Oh, that's okay, Jody. It's all right. Like and share because you could still win a $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree. Um, but <laughs> what did she say? Krista says, don't skimp on the duct tape next time. Next time, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I need, you know, like, I, well, I mean, it has the little duck. I thought it was. Like duck, you know, like the good stuff. This is 97 cents. If you pay 97 cents for something, it's probably not. I go gorilla next time. The good stuff. Instead, spend the extra three cents and use your Dollar Tree gift card to buy. Mm. All right. As always, peace, love, salvation. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Bye bye.